Hey guys, so you've gotten your new car and the first thing that you'd like to install in your car, especially in Malaysia, are window tints. And when it comes to installing window tints, I found that most people will consider price, whether I get a package or not, or maybe I'm looking for a certain brand. But those are the things that are least of your concern. In fact, I'm right now here in Expel Malaysia. We're going to talk about what is the most important thing when it comes to choosing a window tint. So hold on tight, don't choose the window tints first. Take a look at this video and get informed and then you can make the right decision for your car. So, when we get window tints for our car, we want to protect ourselves, that's what I mentioned earlier. But what are we protecting ourselves from? Now, there are a lot of rays out there. There are visible light, there's infrared. But I want to talk about something that's more important, which is the ultraviolet light, or what we call UV rays. Now, UV rays are something that's invisible to our eyes. It means that we humans can't see it. But just because you can't see it, doesn't mean it can't affect us. Now, there's a lot of research that's been done on UV rays, and it's been linked to all sorts of problems. Now, first one are health problems. It's linked to skin disease, premature skin aging, and also skin cancer, all right? So that's why when we install tins, we want to make sure that we block out as much UV rays as possible. And that's why Expel is my uh, selection over here. And that should be your consideration as well when you're getting your tins. Aside from getting tins to protect ourselves and our loved ones, I want to talk about protecting your car as well. Now, have you seen cars with colors fading? Have you seen plastics cracking? getting brittle. Now, all those things are also linked to UV as well. Now, you know, I love my Porsche Boxer Spider a lot. I love how it looks, the red, the Alcantara, you know, all the plastic beads. I want to maintain that as much as I can. And to do that, the best way is to get things that block out UV rays. Now, there's something also very interesting. When you get a car, you have adhesive, chemicals, that keeps the interior together. And when you're bombarding it with UV rays, all these things actually get released into the cabin. And guess what happens? we inhale them. So we get all these toxic chemicals in our body and it harms us and our loved ones. So I hope this has given you a little bit of an eye-opener that when we install tins, we're going to block out as much UV ray as possible to protect ourselves, our loved ones and also our car. Now, when you've got to get your tins, it's easy to get confused with all the terms and fancy technological terms that the dealer or the window tins installer might give to you, right? There are you know, this technology, or this 70%, 80%, blah, 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 and all that can be very confusing. So let's get this straight first, right? What kind of tins are you buying? There are only four types in the market, four major kinds of tins in the market. Now, the first one is what we call dyed tins. Dyed tins are basically plastic, and they use color to dye it to produce a certain sort of depth in color. And that's pretty much it. It does not focus on any protection element or longevity element on your car. Now, the second kind of technology in the market is what we call nano ceramic technology. Now, this one, think of it like this. It's your plastic window tins. The manufacturer through its production method. They have little bits and pieces of ceramic that's bonded or infused into the plastic film. So what it is, is that they're using the ceramics properties to protect your car, protect yourself from the rays outside over there. Now, the third one is pretty much similar like the second one. It's what we call metallurgy. So instead of having ceramic onto the tins, you have little metal flakes that does the protection for your car. Now the last category is actually what we call the hybrid technology. It combines both metal and also ceramic to give you a blend of its both performance. Those are the pretty four. So now that you know all the four categories in the market, let's talk about something that's more important, which is the performance of tins. Not only when you install it in the car when it's new, how about when you install it after a month? Right? Let's do a little test to find out a little bit more about the longevity of tins. So we're going to talk about performance of our tins, especially how it lasts throughout the ages. So we're going to do a little test over here. Now, this is a little test kit which we'll use later. But rather than using you know, a new tint, I'm actually curious, how are my tins holding up on my Porsche Boxer Spider? So I have the Prime XR Plus installed on my car. What I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to cut out a little piece so that we can do a test and see that does it actually match up to its performance they promised even after it's two years old? So let's find out a little bit more in this experiment. So these are the things that I just extracted from my spider and let's see how it shows on the test. Now, I've got some tools over here to test but I don't want to make a disclaimer. These tools are not the most accurate way to test the effectiveness of a tint. Now, to achieve 100% super high accuracy, you have to be in the lab and we don't have that over here. But these tools are just used merely to give us a rough idea on the performance of the tins. Okay? So let's do our first test from this machine over here. So 
the machine tests for three things, UV, VLT, which is visible light, and also infrared, okay? So let's see how much it blocks out when we slide in the used Prime XR Plus. That's on my car, or two years old. Let's slide it in. Look, wow, there's zero. Well, zero to 1%, it comes out of zero. And then uh, it blocks out all the UV rays, and then there are 67% uh, of VLT left, right? That's the vis visible light. Okay, so that's pretty impressive. Let's see how it compares to a new set of Prime XR Plus over here. Okay, so two years old versus new. Now I'm going to slide it in like this. Take a look. Oh, same UV protection. VLT, 2%, but I think it's understandable because the one I have on my car has some adhesive and some dirt on it. But for a two-year-old tin, I think that's pretty good. Right? It still protects you from UV and it also blocks out the infrared which rejects it. Okay? So this are uh, done over here. Now I want to show you something while we're here. Now, this is a competitor or a different product, a different tin, X brand. Right? This is the one that I'm using. Now this is new and by visibility you can see it's actually darker than my tint. Okay? So does it actually perform? And this is something important, right? Is darker always better? Let's take a look. we have 29% UV that's passing through. So it's not really blocking all of it. While the VLT is lower, as you can see, it's darker. But check it out. 75% infrared rays passing through. So no matter how dark it looks, it's not a good sign to know whether it's a good tint or not. So don't always just look at the color, right? The key point when the focus is what technology is using. So this is a good test over here, right? So now this machine is done. I brought another machine here just to see the consistency of the test results, okay? So right now, I'm going to use again my uh, Prime XR Plus that's two years old on my car. Let's turn this on to see. Okay, so this is 100%, same UV, but only, only measuring UVA, right? UVA, there's UVA and UVB, but only measuring one kind of UV, visible light and also solar. Okay, let's take a look. So 4% of UVA passing through, okay? And we didn't measure UVB and we have 62% visible light passing through, okay? In the same ballpark, right? Different machine, different numbers. But let's see how it measures up to a new set of Prime XR Plus. Same, it's still the XR Plus 55, same darkness level, right? So let's see how it fares compared to a new one. Look, that's four, it's consistent. Now again, the visible light has changed a little bit because, you know, this is new, Right? This one still has a light, it has a glass on it, so the glass also does reflect some of the light off. But the point I'm saying is that it's consistent with the UV protection over here, even after two years. That's pretty awesome. Okay? Now, I'm going to use the competitor's tin, this x -Pren. Let's see how it shows up over here. Oh, 18%. So 18% of UV rays passing through, and we got 50% or 49% of uh, visible light coming through. So pretty much consistent. So here's the thing I want to talk about uh, tints. We we're talking about performance. We're not talking about the performance when you're in the dealership and they're showing you the performance of a new tint. We're going to talk about how it works through a period of time. And if this test tells you anything, that the Prime XR Plus lives up to its name and promise of protection. So if you're looking to explore Expel's window tint range, I've got two to recommend to you. In fact, these are the two that I use on my car, on my Porsche Boxer Spider and my BMW M2 competition. Right? So here, I have two tins I'd like to show you. I'm going to explain to you also how the tins work and also its warranty and its quality as well. Okay? So the first one here is the XR Plus range. These are nano ceramic technology that I use in my Porsche Boxer Spider. Now I use this for two reasons. Not only for its great heat rejection and UV protection, I use this because of its absolute clarity. And the advantage of nano ceramic technology, especially the Prime XR Plus range, is that it's super clear. And what I like it on my box, Porsche Boxer Spider is that when I have my roof down and when I have my car parked, it shows the red interior, which I feel it brings out the character of the car. Okay, and that's why I like the Prime XR Plus. Okay, now how these things work is a little bit different from the XP that I use on my BMW M2 competition. So let me show you over here. Now, here we have a little test. Right? When we turn on the lights, we're going to see how much uh, rays is going to block out. All right? So I'm going to remove this first and show you, right, now it's zero. But I turn on the light, boom, it goes super high, right? In fact, it's so high that it's at the maximum, okay? 
So it takes some time to calibrate, so it's a maximum. But as soon as I slide on the Prime XR Plus, you see it drops all the way down, down lower and lower and lower. Okay, it's starting to calibrate. But the point is, you can see, it does its job, right? Now how this works is that the ceramic that's uh, embedded into the tin is actually absorbing all the solar energy. Now, while that is great, the downside of this is that it soaks up and eventually becomes just really, really hot. It holds on to the heat. If you're driving, it's fine because the wind will blow on the car and push the heat away and cool down the tins as you drive. Okay? But leave it long enough, you can feel that it starts to get pretty hot. Okay? Now, I want to show you a different tint over here. This is the Prime XP range. Okay? Now, this is a different technology. This one is using metallic flakes. So what it does, instead of absorbing the heat, it reflects the heat. But there is a downside to this technology as well. See, I'm going to share all this with you because you want to get the best information to make a decision for your car. So it reflects the heat, it reflects all the rays, but the downside, it does also interfere with some radio signals. So if you have smart tag, or you have an access card to your apartment, or your security gate, it does interfere with some of it. Sometimes it can be a little bit inconvenient. But the upside is that it reflects and doesn't hold on to the heat. So let me just demonstrate it to you right over here. Okay. So right now, as you can see, the performance is pretty much similar. Okay. Around the 80, 80 range over here, right? Okay. Now, check this out. If I use the Prime XR Plus range, right? Okay. If I just turn this aside to refract the light into the meter, it's showing around 80, right? So what it means is that it's not really reflecting the light away, it's absorbing it, okay? But if I go down over here, right, if I do this, you can see it starts to increase 300, four, uh, 200 plus. So what it means is that these tints are actually reflecting the light away, and that's how it works, okay? Again, I'm showing this to you because you might want to make a different choice for your car. Now, this is just my opinion. If you're going to park your car indoors a lot and drive it outdoors from time to time, I think the XR Plus range is great because it's nano-ceramic technology and the best part about it is its clarity and also its longevity. So now you know the properties of the tins and how it works. Let's talk about something that is also very important, its warranty. So the Prime XR Plus range has a lifetime warranty and the Prime XP range has only 7 years warranty. Now you're probably asking why. Is the Prime XR Plus better than the XP? No. Nope. It's just the nature of its technology. See, in nano-ceramic technology, think of ceramic, it's chemically inert. It doesn't react. That's why it's able to preserve its properties as long as you have it on your car. And that's where they put the warranty, lifetime warranty for the Prime XR Plus range. Okay? Now, while that is great, the XP as well boasts its reflective nature. Now, for the Prime XP range, you have seven years because it's using metal technology. And over time, humidity, heat, expanding, shrinking, eventually some sort of damage will happen to its metal. But the point being that its performance will eventually fade after a certain period of time. And that's why the XP range doesn't give you a lifetime warranty. But hey, seven years is a long time, right? So at this point, you're probably wondering, Thomas, are you saying all these good things about Expel because you're Expel Malaysia's brand ambassador? Well, here's something that most people wouldn't know about me, that I've been a loyal user of Expel way before I became its ambassador. And I love all of its products. I use it for all my cars, whether it's window tints, ceramic coating, and also PPF for my car. Right? So I want to talk about why I actually chose Expel way before this ambassadorship happened. Because there are a few things that gave me assurance when I purchased Expel. Now, Expel is recognized some very important third party certifications and also endorsements. Now, the first one I want to talk about is the National Skin Care Foundation. Now, they endorse expels window tints to be effective against protecting us and reducing our chances in actually getting skin cancer. Now that's a very important one because as I said earlier, the primary function of window tints is to protect ourselves. Now the other one I want to talk about is SGS. It also certifies Expel to a certain quality that they promise to its customer. Right? So with this in mind, it gives me the assurance when I invest and I put the money down for this, I'm getting the best out there in the market. So I hope this video has been helpful for you to make a decision on what window tints to install on your car. And if you know anyone who needs this information, send it to them. They'll thank you for it properly. Now, if you want to find out more about Expel's products and want to find out more about information and technical aspects of tins, PPF and coating, I'll put a link in the description below to Expel's website over there. 
And of course, if you want to contact them to get your quotation ready, there are Expel's website down there. I also have uh, Expel's Facebook and Instagram posted in the description below. So you can go ahead, contact them, and get a quotation for your car. And of course, if you do have the time, come and visit Expel Malaysia's HQ. They have a great facility over here, and uh, the people over here are highly trained, and I love their workmanship. They do some of the best work for your window tints and also your PPF. Right? With that, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in Expel Malaysia's HQ. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please let me hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future as well. Now, if you've got any questions about PPF, you can leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Or you can hit me up on Instagram, Thomas Yap Official, and I'll try my best to answer all your questions about window, tints, PPF, and also coating for your car. I think that's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you in another episode. Cheers.